CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. You see this post op. What's going on? What's your next move? There's a bulge behind the iris, and the lens looks a little decentered. So we have an anonymous resident surgeon who's operating this case. Let's just show you this part of it. Capsrex is done. It looks great. Nicely centered. Reasonable size. Here comes the IOL. Single piece acrylic lens being injected. Getting that injector tip inside the eye. Looks like the lens is folded up pretty well. And slowly delivering that inside the caps or bag. So watch carefully. Let's see are there any issues that you may notice. So now using the plunger of the injector to try to push the lens in place. The problem with that is in untrained hands and novice hands, you lose a lot of viscoelastic. So now there the lens is unfolding. Watch carefully. Now let's see what happens next. Uh, chopper going inside the eye to try to center the lens. But you got to be very careful here. You don't want to lose all that viscoelastic. So trying to center it, that looks like a little bit of progress, but still not beautifully centered just yet. And let's see our next step here. At this point, viscoelastic removal. So I'd actually rotate the lens in the bag more at this point. So going inside here, going underneath the optic to remove viscoelastic. There you go. Now we're learning. You know, if you first 100 cases or so, you don't necessarily have to do this. But if you're going to progress your skills, you really need to be able to do this to help adhere a toric lens or a multifocal or EDOF lens to the poster capsule. So viscoelastic has been evacuated, trying to center up the lens now. That looks a little bit better. And take out the viscoelastic now from the anterior chamber. And you can see there's a reasonable overlap of that rexus. Now, oftentimes in these resin cases, the rexus is a little irregular or too large or runs out. But in this case, the rexus looks pretty good. I don't think there's much of an issue there. So again, vacuuming out all that viscoelastic. And now look at the lens. How does it look to you? Does it look like it's in the bag or overlap 360? Um, hard to say. And so we're going to seal up the incisions here at the end. That's not really the hydration technique I like. I prefer the roof. There you go. That looks better. So hydrating or sealing up that incision roof. Nice, gentle hydration of the stroma. If you have a good quality incision with proper architecture, it's just seal pretty well. So again, let's look at that IOL. What does it look like in res in respect to the, the with respect to that capsulorexis? So I'm gonna go back in here, hydrating a little bit more. Is there total overlap? Is it just too big of a rexus? I can't quite tell just yet. But maybe we'll see a little bit more toward the end of the case. So the key here, of course, is these single piece acrylic lenses, you have to keep them completely in the capsule bag. And, of course, you probably guessed that this patient has a post-op dislocation of that lens. So let's look here at that incision, sealed up nicely, and I think the resident is going to call this done. But if you look carefully, I'm not sure it really is done. Because there, on the right side of your screen... I think that haptic, the optic is slightly above the capsule edge there. And I think this haptic that's uh, right here in fear, sub-incisionally, is again above the capsule. So here was on post-op day one, we had this. We see that bulge there behind the iris. And that bulge tells you, listen, something's there. And what's there is that haptic of the IOL. And so we got to fix that. And if we look again, look where that little arrow is. That right there, I think, the optic is coming above the capsule. Now, the video is two-dimensional, not three-dimensional. And so it's hard for you to tell. You just see the, over, the rexus edge, and you can't tell is the rexus on top of the IOL optic or is it behind it. And I think right there where that red arrow is, is where it comes above. So that right there, the optic is above the capsule. It's subtle. It's hard to see sometimes. You can miss it. So let me show you now at the slit lamp then, the next day, there's that red reflex. Now you can see where the optic is coming out of the bag and in front of the rexus, and that inferior haptic now is certainly in the sulcus. This is post-op day one. Don't leave it like this. So we reposition the lens this on post-op day one, and now you can tell for certain 
the optic is fully behind the capsular axis edge now. And so now this lens is completely in the capsular bag. Remember, if you have it um, with one haptic outside, you'll get a decenter like this, and you'll get that UGH syndrome. That haptic is scraping the back of this iris. That's, this is a different case we featured on Cataract Coach previously. So you definitely want to take your time. Make sure the eye wall is always completely in the capsular bag in these routine cases. Never leave a single piece of acrylic lens partially in the salt because you got to go back as soon as possible before the capsular bag contracts down and get that lens repositioned. In our case, we reposition that lens on post-op day one. You hate to make the return trip to the operating room, but you know what? It's worth it. Thanks for watching.